the first step to soldering is to make sure you're wearing the appropriate apparel. All loose hair and long hair should be tied up in a ponytail or in a hat, and all loose jewelry and clothing should be taken care of because you will be leaning over hot substances. Now, once your safety glasses are on, unwind maybe a foot, a foot and a half of solder. and wrap it around your hand. I find this is a much more manageable way to handle solder than to use a bulky carrying case. Now, your soldering iron should already be on and you should have a wet sponge, not, not dripping wet, but just moist so that you can wipe your solder off once you're done. Then we go to the wires. I'll be connecting these two wires today. There are two ways to connect them. You can connect them like this or like this. I'll be doing the second way for just for today. Now you take the wire. Sometimes your wire will have frayed ends and the wires may have split, so twist them together to make sure there are no outlying wires. Now hold them together and establish a firm connection before even starting to solder, so twist these wires together as well. Now, you put them in your vise and make sure that it's nice and tight so that you don't have to adjust it while you're soldering. Now, coat the tip of your soldering iron in solder. Just touch it lightly, make sure it's on. Then, since solder is attracted to heat, all you, you don't actually need to touch the soldering iron to the solder while soldering. So just touch the iron to the wire and make sure that it's nice and hot. And once you're sure that it's hot, you can feed the solder into it and it will coat itself along the wire firmly soldering the two pieces together, and there you have it.